Nymphian Catherine Smith had lived an ordinary life as a driver's license examiner. But in February of 2002, her arrest for fraud and then her death in a mysterious fiery car crash made her the subject of a worldwide interest. She, did she commit suicide or was she murdered as part of a terrorist plot? Fox 13 senior correspondent Les Smith takes a look back at a case which earned its place among Memphis mysteries. It is in its written words where the desperate and disgraced often turn in search of mercy, redemption, and peace. And on the final journey of her life, Memphian Catherine Smith could not have found a better companion to travel with as her world was about to crumble around her. We were going to have a detention hearing on uh, February the 11th. And on that day, the day before, the morning of that day, uh, Catherine Smith uh, died in the car. 49-year-old Catherine Smith would have ranked among the unlikeliest people to ever become the centerpiece of a federal investigation into international terrorism. By all accounts, she was quiet, spiritual, and family devoted. The kind of ordinary existence which made her arrest in February of 2002 even more mystifying. Smith, who had worked for nine years as a driver's license examiner, was swooped up at her place of business in an FBI raid along with five men of Arab descent. She was charged with selling fake driver's licenses to them for $1,000 apiece. But with America still reeling from the 9-11 terrorist attacks just months before, what might have been viewed as a simple case of greed soon ballooned into an international incident that produced worldwide headlines. Strangely, after the arrests, Smith was released on her own recognizance. The five men, including Memphis store owner Khalid Adtala, believed to be the ringleader of the phony license operation, were taken into custody as investigators searched for a link between the men and any possible connections to the 9-11 attacks. But was all this motivated by fact or frenzy? Because of the world events and the uh presumption that seems to be floating around about people of Middle Eastern descent. The shockwaves even managed to reach Smith's neighbors on bedraggled and blighted Boston Street in Orange Mound. Other than being recognized as a regular churchgoer at Mount Pleasant Baptist, few could shed light about the woman who close friends called Cat. Yeah, it is a big shock. But most of the things around here, most of the people around here know about them. And for something like that to happen, and nobody right here not to know anything about it, you know, it's, it's really strange. And it would get a lot stranger. When on February 10th, Smith's charred body was found inside the remains of her burned 1992 Acura, a car she had bought from Otala. Breathless witnesses told authorities the car, going at a slow rate of speed, rammed into a utility pole. A gas container was found in the back seat of the car. An autopsy declared Smith died of smoke inhalation from the fire inside the car that ignited before the crash. Unusual, suspicious, bizarre, all of the aforementioned. Suicide's a possibility, um, murder's a possibility, um, I guess accidental explosion's a possibility, but it, it just seems remote from what our, our experts are saying. But with Smith's horrendous death and four months of investigation into the backgrounds of the men turning up nothing, except for the fact three of them were illegal aliens, public interest finally faded. Four of the men were eventually deported. Another was quietly returned back to his home in New York. None were implicated in Smith's death because they were in custody at the time. Speculation then led to the only conclusion possible, aided by the release of a note Smith left her children days after her arrest. In some circumstances, it can be viewed as a, as a suicide a note. And she does not come out and say that she's going to commit suicide, but she's apologizing. Perhaps the final testament to Smith's sense of resignation was made clear by the discovery of her Bible in the burned out car. Encircled was this passage. The Father loves me because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. For Memphis Mysteries, Les Smith, Fox 13 News.